Hello friends, this is Rehan again. In this tutorial, we are going to cover the remaining last list of content management that is provided by Library. This is the last tutorial. Uh, this tutorial we will cover all the remaining rest of the contents, management contents, and how we can manage using Library. Okay, so we go back to the site site administration panel. So we have covered till wiki. Now we are going to add a dynamic data list. So, what is a dynamic data list? Okay, dynamic data list is like uh, see. So far, we were creating wiki data, message board, and these are all uh, are already defined data. Suppose if you want to create your own type of data, then there comes the dynamic data list. Okay, so we'll create a new list. Okay, so sample dynamic data, sample dynamic data. Okay. So we are going to give a data definition. So this is actually given by library. You can also add and create your own definition. But for now, we will choose events. Okay. If you can you can also create a workflow. Workflow is nothing but either someone has to approve or not. You can create a separate workflow, and you can just save it. Okay. Uh, actually, like I have already created one. We will delete the old one. Okay, so now we have created a sample dynamic data. We now we are going to we are going inside this data and we are going to add an event. Since we have given that uh, that these dynamic data should be uh, of event type, we are going to add events. These are these are this definition is actually uh, that Liferay has given a sample definition. You can also create your own definition also, which I will tell you in the upcoming tutorials. Okay, for now we will go through this. Okay, so the cost of uh, if you have any attachment, you can attach. So the cost of attachment is thousand rupees and um, or dollars. Exception. This is a sample event. That's going to be held on 11, 11, 2015. Okay, event name uh, Life Ray Tutorial by Experts. Time morning 10 a.m. Location New York. Okay. So you can also save it as a draft and you can also publish. Now we are going to publish. Okay, so now we have created an event. Okay. Uh, similarly, uh, similar to the previous tutorial, we will just first create all the day content. Then we will see how we will add those content in the in the web page. Okay. Second is bookmarks. Now you can either add a, add a folder. Uh, into which you can add a separate bookmark or you can add a bookmark separately bookmark is nothing but uh, a link to that site okay uh, you can also like uh, if you in some website you can see that they will have some bookmark links which will be uh, like related information uh, which you can give from there okay and also if you want to give bookmark within your web page which has a lot of pages you can also you can also give that also which is related to the present content information. I'm just giving an example. Okay, you can also uh, put it into a folder, or you can also put it outside the folder. Now we are going to create a sample bookmark. Sample bookmark one. Okay, the URL will be http://google.com. Okay, this is a second sample bookmark. Since I have already created on sample bookmark we are going to give tags also sample bookmark okay save it and you can also add a related assets okay as you can see the folders have in there is a folder bookmark and this is a normal bookmark okay so now we have created a bookmark content and later we will see how we will add it to the uh, add it to the website next is poll Poll is nothing but it's like uh, adding a question, thing or voting from the users. Suppose uh, like uh, in XDA, if you have seen, like uh, now, which theme is the best theme, please vote. And and you they would have given a list of themes. 
or a list of mobile devices which which mobile device you feel is best like that people will uh, we will vote the which device and based on that voting in the score will be appeared and that is what is basically called as poll now you are going to add a question the question is uh, best mobile operating system which mobile os you feel the best a ios b android c windows you can also add choice d none of the above okay so you can also set view anyone or also a group of members that is also permission you can set now we have created a, a best mobile operating system question poll and we will uh, you can also set permission who needs to add question and uh, those things and all okay then the next is tags now see as you can see these are the list of tags which we have given so far uh, when we were creating these content we have given the, these tags see bookmark is a tag given during the starting of this tutorial okay so all the tags are created, are listed here we can just navigate to the to that particular content just by clicking on this tag okay so uh, so this is a tag content you can also add a new new tag content suppose um, like a library best tutorials you can also add a, a tag this one and you can also while creating any of these contents you can just uh, add this tag so that users can navigate to that content using this uh, tags okay next is categories you can also add a category so like uh, in shopping websites you would have mostly noted this one that uh, you know, like electronics uh, or uh, food related or fruits vegetables uh, uh, like that and so you can also you can also categorize your content based on the categ categories okay so fruits save add category electronics save add categories electrical electricals save so we have three added three categories so we can also so add a subcategory also subcategory so while we are creating the contents we should need to like a, that actually you, you could have seen that uh, in some places you would have seen that that content can be added to a specific category okay so like that so if we have given the list of categories here there you can uh, there you can match that content to each categories and the users can able to using a portlet we can list the categories there and user can navigate to those categories okay so that's the use of categories you can also give permission who can add categories and who can add tag and vocabularies okay you can also select uh, and you can also delete that category okay you can also add vocabulary and also add uh, what are things it should come back. only the blog entry should come okay save it the topic vocabulary there are actually two categories until sa under sample vocabulary there are no categories okay we will leave it for now while we are implementing this on the website then you will know uh, what are these things okay then the next is recycle bin recycle bin is the best feature in life ray suppose if you have uh, like uh, you can't delete the content directly like you should first move to res recycle bin and uh, suppose i am going to delete this content first you need to first you need to move to recycle bin then from here only you can delete the content 
okay so uh, this is the, be the best feature so it will be it's like a system normal system recycle bin where you can restore the content directly back to the server instead of uh, wasting time uploading the if there is any big uh, big content then you have to waste time uploading all those contents uh, so during that time this recycle bin uh, is more useful okay and the next is open social gadget editor so this is actually like a sample gadget you can also open social gadget is like a, anyone can create a, any gadget and, and those gadgets are available over the net and you can just uh, paste the code and you can just save the save that gadget and you can also implement it i am going to create a separate tutorial for how to create a open social gadget for life ray and how you can implement it for now so you can also you just understand that we can also add open social gadget in life ray okay see we can add anything almost anything any content in life ray okay from videos to images to documents to blogs message boards wiki in this tutorial we have added dynamic data list bookmarks post tags categories and, and sample uh, like i didn't have a sample code now teach you how to do that okay so i want to create it in a separate tutorial for now we will implement the remaining the remaining data okay so we'll go back now first we are going to display the dynamic data okay the we'll we'll keep this uh, one site for reference first we are going to add a dynamic data okay dynamic content see and also one more thing you don't have to add a portlet uh, here separately if you have seen here like uh, all the content which you have created will be in this content pages of so all the dynamic data uh, all the friend dynamic data blog oh, sorry blog and this one and then this one is a question and there's message board and this one is uh, like uh, this one is answer content everything will be whatever content which you have created you, it will be directly here you can just uh, you can just drag and drop here okay this is actually good practice also but for uh, knowledge basis we'll go through the portlet okay so first we are going to add a dynamic data you search in a dynamic data portlet you import that portlet and you select the which dynamic data you want it to appear here okay so you want the sample dynamic data which we have created 12 minutes ago okay after you have selected it it will show that dynamic data has been modified and you save it okay see those dynamic data will be appear since we have created an event it will appear here okay now we have added a dynamic data next is we are going to add a bookmark okay bookmark so we need to add a bookmark portlet you can see that uh, bookmark folder and bookmark will is also there so the name of the bookmark is sample bookmark and the url is our http or google.com okay so you can can go to the google or google.com from here okay okay then the next one is polls polls are the the like voting questions okay so if you want to add a polls poll this add a poll display and select the question best mobile operating system which we have created So, um, for me, it's always Android. Vote. You can see I have voted for Android. So, like a uh, as admin, you can also uh, the creator of this question will know which is the best. So, therefore, we can also poll type of the content. Next is tags. So, we are going to add a tag portlet, tag navigation. See, with the, all the tags has been come here. So, if you want to search uh, search like uh, requirements this tag portlet will display all the uh, that is related to the requirement see so, so we add a new page and we'll check there sample page the 
add a sample page two column page okay sample page we will add the content port this one tag portlet Attack cloud okay now we need to add a blog portlet okay uh, like if you want to display an asset publisher put on asset publisher also so like uh, this will show the uh, so like um, uh, so this uh, so if you want to search a blog or a asset related to these tags you can uh, you, you can just search here we want to click on life ray it will show the uh, like what is all the assets uh, that has a tag what is on life ray okay so if uh, this is like a uh, one number of content before each tag okay so like uh, if you have seen in some websites uh, like of us uh, in torrents yeah that is the best example torrents dot e eu so if you can see here th these are all big why because these are all uh, these are tags that are has most content okay i mean like most of the people has used these con these tags more hence uh, uh, hence these tags are big and these are small okay so that's why this is about uh, and so like since i have used lot of about you can see if we click about and see that are actually two content i have used that's that's what is showing it's like total number of two content two contents are related to ta about uh, tag okay and the next thing is categories i'm going to add a category categories navigation so based on categories you are going to navigate you click electronics since there are since i didn't create any category related contents it it, it doesn't show okay based on the topic category topic fruits there are nothing i didn't create anything so it's not sure rnt and you check it will work okay so that's all guys we have seen through all the contents suppose if you want to add a open social gadget if you if you know open social ga how it works and just go to the gadget portlet and just add this gadget portlet and you can configure the portlet there and just give the url of your portlet location and that's it your gadget portlet will come so that's all we have went through all the content management which is provided by lifebree by default okay so hope you guys like my tutorial do subscribe for more life tutorials and see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye